Even if you've eaten breakfast at Whataburger hundreds of times, you probably don't know everything about this Texas icon's morning offerings. You shouldn't eat there again until you learn the whole story, so keep watching to discover the untold truth of Whataburger. If you're a fiend for caffeine, you may be disappointed to learn that the golden age of Whataburger coffee is no longer. Beginning in 1983, you could purchase a nickel mug of coffee from Whataburger for 99 cents. You could then get unlimited refills of regular or decaffeinated coffee in your mug for only a nickel. Originally, the promotion was only supposed to last one year, but thanks to its popularity, it instead hung around for a decade. You know, no big whoop, just coffee talk. In 1993, Whataburger made one change to the nickel mug offer. While the mug was still priced at 99 cents, refills were bumped up to 25 cents. That offer lasted for four more years until it finally ended in 1997. However, there are claims that Whataburger still honors the nickel mug promotion to this day. If you go into a Whataburger today and you don't have a mug with you, your coffee options amount to picking regular or decaf and deciding whether you want a 12-ounce small, a 16-ounce medium, or a 20-ounce large. While the taste of Whataburger's coffee is average, you do get a sturdy styrofoam cup that's cool to the touch yet keeps your coffee hot. While that's pretty enticing, it's no match for the glorious nickel mug of yesteryear. A lot of fast food chains have jumped on the breakfast bandwagon recently, but you can't accuse Whataburger of doing that, as they've been in the breakfast game for over 40 years. Whataburger Breakfast began in 1979, with their first featured items being the breakfast on a bun and taquitos filled with sausage and egg. Around that same time, three locations in Corpus Christi, Texas decided to keep their doors open 24 hours a day and all seven days of the week. With that decision, getting breakfast at Whataburger became easier and more convenient than ever. Today, virtually all all Whataburger locations are open 24 hours a day. McDonald's was a little bit ahead of Whataburger by offering a full breakfast menu by 1977, but not too many other fast food joints have been in the breakfast game for that long. Burger King has had limited success since 1983, while Wendy's didn't start until 1985 and still others like Taco Bell, KFC, and Subway didn't enter the breakfast ring until 2010 or later. At Whataburger, you can order from the breakfast menu 12 hours a day from 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. That means you don't need to wake up terribly early to snag your breakfast on a bun or any of the other Whataburger breakfast options. Sleep in as you please or take your time to get ready in the morning. Or if you happen to be out late at night partying, you can hop over to Whataburger in the early morning hours for a breakfast after party. Competitors such as Chick-fil-A, Burger King, and Taco Bell don't start their breakfast hours until after 6 a.m., so Whataburger's flexibility allows you to enjoy breakfast whenever is right for you. To make matters even better, Whataburger's regular menu items are available 24 hours a day. So if you wake up and have a craving for a burger and fries, you can get one at Whataburger even if it's 8 a.m. And every other restaurant you pass along the way is only serving breakfast. If you arrive at your local Whataburger during the hours when they're not serving breakfast, but you really, really want breakfast, you might not be completely out of luck. As it turns out, there's a way to hack Whataburger's regular menu to get your hands on one breakfast item 24 hours a day. All you have to do is order the chicken strip sandwich and then ask for the barbecue sauce to be replaced with honey butter. The result is basically the coveted honey butter chicken biscuit that's only officially available during the breakfast hours. But do be warned, this trick won't get you an exact replica honey butter or chicken biscuit. Instead of a biscuit, you'll get your chicken and honey butter between two slices of Texas toast. But considering how good the Texas toast is at Whataburger, this should hardly be considered a disappointment. In fact, you may decide that you'd like to regularly opt for this forgery over the real thing once you've tried it. It hasn't always been smooth sailing for Whataburger's breakfast offerings. In June of 2015, for example, an egg shortage forced the chain to limit its breakfast hours. Instead of 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. seven days a week, the hours were adjusted to 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Monday through Friday and 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Furthermore, Whataburger said that their breakfast was only available while supplies were available at each location and they offered suggestions for breakfast options that weren't made with eggs. The national egg shortage was blamed on an avian flu that impacted more than 40 million chickens. A number of items on Whataburger's breakfast menu contain eggs, including the taquitos, egg sandwich, biscuit sandwich, egg and cheese biscuit, and the breakfast on a bun. Fortunately, those tough times didn't last long. Less than three weeks later, Whataburger announced that its egg shortage situation had been resolved, apologized for the inconvenience, and resumed its normal breakfast hours. 
Many Whataburger customers aren't aware of all the options they have at their disposal when ordering taquitos. First off, you get one protein choice, either sausage, bacon, chorizo, or potato. Next comes the cheese. American is the default option, but you can switch it to Monterey Jack, Swiss American, or shredded cheddar. Selecting your add-ons is where things get exciting. You can add extra cheese or even bacon, but the vegetables are where you can really spice up your taquito. The veggie choices include grilled jalapenos, fresh jalapenos, roasted mushrooms, avocado chunks or a combination of grilled onions and peppers. If you want sauce, you can add jalapeno ranch or creamy pepper sauce. Another option with taquitos is to order them ranchero style. If you want it with red salsa, order it ranchero picante style. And if you want it with green salsa, go ahead and ask for it ranchero verde style. Clearly, you can spend a lot of time at Whataburger digging into all sorts of taquito combinations. The breakfast on a bun isn't as versatile as the taquitos, but there is a hack that you can use to kick this sandwich up to the next level. When ordering the breakfast on a bun, ask the cashier to toast both sides of the buns. Normally, only one side is toasted, but if you can toast both sides, something magically scrumptious happens. In case you're not already familiar with the breakfast on a bun, whether double or single toasted, here's what you're getting. It comes with egg, cheese, and either sausage or bacon. If you're extra hungry, you can double the sausage, double the bacon, or double the egg for less than a dollar more. If you do double up one of the ingredients, be sure to ask for the whole thing to be cut in half. Whataburger will do that for you at no additional cost, and it makes it a lot easier to handle. And there's another hack in addition to the double toasting. If you want some extra flavor, you can order some gravy on the side and use it to dip your breakfast on a bun. Which should be plenty filling, as Whataburger's gravy is pleasantly creamy and contains small pieces of sausage. Whataburger doesn't exactly have a reputation for serving healthy food, but when it comes to their breakfast, there are some satisfying options that won't make you too overstuffed to start your day. For example, the egg sandwich only has 310 calories. You can make it even healthier by skipping the cheese and exchanging the standard bun for a wheat bun. Feel free to add a side of hash brown sticks without any remorse, as they have only 190 calories. You may not be in the mood for greens at breakfast, but in case you are, there are some healthy salads available at Whataburger. The garden salad comes with an optional filet of grilled chicken, as well as grape tomatoes, matchstick carrots, and a generous amount of shredded cheese. If you opt for the herb vinaigrette, the whole shebang has only 325 calories. The apple and cranberry chicken salad is similar to the garden salad, except that it throws some cranberries and apple slices to the mix. Before adding any dressing, it contains only 385 calories. It might not be the most traditional breakfast, but early morning fruit is always a solid option. Whataburger has some of the best cinnamon rolls you can possibly procure at any fast food joint. They changed up their recipe in 2018 with exceptionally yummy results, as the old recipe often resulted in a dry and flaky mess. These warm rolls are doughy but not too soft, and they have the perfect combination of sweetness and cinnamon. It's difficult to eat just one, and that's actually a good thing, as you can save money by purchasing these goodies in bulk. The cinnamon, the, the roll of the cinnamon. Prices vary by location, but according to a sample menu on MenuWithPrice.com, one Whataburger cinnamon roll costs $1.79, but if you buy a tray of six rolls, you'll pay $9.29, a savings of $1.45 compared to purchasing the rolls individually. If you're at a Whataburger with a group of friends, don't forget about the option of ordering an entire tray of cinnamon rolls. And if you want to be the hero of your workplace, bring a tray to work with you in the morning. Or just buy them all for yourself. We promise not to tell anyone. You won't be disappointed if you order the biscuit and gravy at Whataburger for your breakfast. Each order comes with two buttermilk biscuits that are smothered with a layer of gravy. And if you want to kick things up a notch, you can do so by trading in the buttermilk biscuits for a pair of jalapeno cheddar biscuits. And don't worry about coughing up any extra cash, as Whataburger lets you make this swap for free. While the cheddar-infused biscuits have a distinct cheesy goodness, it's the spiciness from the jalapeno that makes this a true upgrade. And it also makes for a perfect pairing with the sausage-flavored gravy. You can make it a what a meal for only about a dollar more by adding hash brown sticks and a cup of coffee. And in something that Whataburger calls a country-style hack on its Facebook page, you can give the biscuit and gravy even more of a taste of the South by adding a what a chicken patty and having it also smothered in gravy. Sit down, I'll make you some biscuits and gravy. 
Many of the items that Whataburger serves at breakfast are also available in supermarkets. If you can locate an HEB grocery store, you can find Whataburger brand foods on the shelves. Options include the Whataburger Original Pancake Mix and the Whataburger Original Pork Sausage, which is the same sausage found in their Breakfast on a Bun, Taquitos, and Biscuit Sandwiches. A number of Whataburger's condiments are also sold at HEB, including the creamy pepper sauce and honey butter. And as long as you're buying condiments made by Whataburger, be sure to pick up their must-try ketchup. If you like like spicy foods, their spicy ketchup is also amazing. Once upon a time, you could also buy Whataburger Hickory Smoked Bacon in store, but alas, that option is no longer available. If you want to get your mouth on a strip of that Whataburger bacon, you'll have to actually venture to one of their locations. But luckily, you now know that a trip to Whataburger always offers the promise of a hearty and delicious breakfast. What comes before anything? What have we always said is the most important thing? Breakfast. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite fast food are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.